morning guys good morning good morning good morning happy 32 weeks to us i'm currently on the way to do blood work do y'all know that blood work that i've been talking about doing for like the longest i haven't went and done it that's what it is but also my um gestational diabetes test which i'm really nervous for because yeah we crave sweets literally all the time so i'm pretty nervous about it um, I'm just gonna pray about it, leave it in God's hands and go from there. But where I'm going to get the blood work done at is like right here by the cancer center, y'all. It brings back memories when I used to come and bring my grandma to her cancer treatments and stuff. I'm sad. And you know, last year the holidays didn't really hit me that much, but like it's hitting this year. I haven't ate anything. I don't even know if I was not supposed to eat because the lady didn't even tell me anything. First of all, I thought you'd do this at the doctor's office, but she gave me a lab order for it. But she didn't say if I was supposed to eat or not, but I don't, I think I remember with Tiana, like you're not supposed to eat when you do the gestational diabetes test. So I didn't eat anything just in case they were like, oh, you can't do it because you ate wrong answer and for the rest of the day i don't really have nothing else planned i think i'm gonna go to Publix, y'all because that my cousins was at my house all weekend and do y'all know how it is having like boys at your house and there was like five of them and they just ate everything so i have to go to the grocery store hi guys so i just finally left the doctor and i was i literally have been there for like hours got my glucose test I'm glad I did not eat anything this morning because I was not supposed to eat anything I had the red kind I didn't get to vlog it y'all because it was so quick and they were just like literally sitting there with me while I was drinking it but I got the red kind and it was not bad it was actually really good we really enjoyed it it just was a little spicy I'm actually very tired so I don't know if I'm going to film today because that's what I wanted to do, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Let me go ahead and head in the store because it's already 141. I did not vlog in the grocery store, y'all. I literally got stuff and got up out of there. So, do fruit have sweet? Do fruit have sugar in it? I wonder. Let me Google. Fruit does have sugar. I figured because it don't taste like a vegetable. I got some, this fruit is a little too fresh. Okay, y'all. I'll see y'all at home. I literally say every day is a challenge. Um, I gotta sit down while I talk. Okay, so y'all, we've been doing good. We've been on a roll. We've been doing good with the weekly vlogs. So this is, so I'm not gonna keep talking too much y'all, but no more weekly vlogs. We're going to do strictly Vlogmas. Um, I'm gonna participate in it. I'm gonna really try my hardest. If I'm not too consistent with it, don't hold, don't charge it to my heart y'all because y'all know. Your girl is 32 weeks pregnant this week. Let me make sure I ain't lying to y'all. See if I had that water bottle, the one with the with the thing on it, I would be good. But this one, I cannot, I can't shake my coldest water bottles. And I know like, okay, so I do a lot of sponsored things and y'all, if it wasn't good, I wouldn't recommend it. That's just the truth. I don't give. I don't care if I got paid for it. I most definitely always try the products out before I recommend them to you guys. But y'all, this water bottle, when I say this is my favorite water bottle, it keeps stuff so cold. So like, I've always wanted a Yeti, but I'm like, I'm not paying that much for no damn cup. <laughs> That's just too much. I'm not paying that much for no cup. That's just, no. 
no so it kind but i've i've seen people who have had like the yeti cups and the yeti coolers and how it keep things cold and it this cup literally reminds me of that but for a much affordable price i'm not even doing anything sponsored for them right now this is literally just this has been a holy grail in my pregnancy i can say i use this every single day in my pregnancy every day every single day i've used this and I have a lot of water bottles, especially like that that new pregnancy water bottle I just got, but this one keeps my water cold. And then especially being pregnant, I don't wanna have to keep getting up and refilling my water bottle. But this one got my Instagram on the back of it that I like a lot. Anyways, this is not about the cup. This is about, I'm participating in Vlogmas. And it's not gonna be no put together vlogmas like how y'all see the other people do. This is just gonna be specifically Lonnie 24K vlogmas, okay? I need to cleanse my house. Okay, if y'all know anything about cleansing the house, like I'm not into like all of that extra stuff, but like I'm into like I praying and like, um, is there anything that I need to do to cleanse my house? Because like, I have just been thinking about it and I have been, I had a nightmare last night, right? And normally when I have nightmares, like they don't really, I'm not gonna say they don't mean nothing, but like normally when I have nightmares, they always take place here at my house. And it could be something just crazy. Like it's random stuff each time. So like it's not the same stuff each time. It's not anything to do with like ghosts or anything like that. I don't know if it has been in the past cause I've forgotten, but I do know that anytime I've had like, most of the time when I have a nightmare, it takes place here. <laughs> that is weird. And I'm, and it just dawned on me today. I'm like, okay, like my dreams are pretty vivid being pregnant, but like my, I'll, I've always had vivid dreams. So like, this is just blowing me because at this point I was like, okay, maybe I need to do a little cleansing, a little prayer, a little holy oil because why do I have nightmares and they take place at where I lay my head at? I don't like that. I would. Y'all want to come with me to pick the cereal? Yes, because that's what you do during the vlogmas. I've been doing real good sticking out on my word and just sticking to what I'm, what I'm, what I say I'm gonna do. And I'm proud, I'm proud, because this is not easy. It's not easy, especially for me. I'm quick to give in, real quick. I'm quick to give in because I'm, and then I use the excuse as, oh, life is short. And that's not really an excuse because life really is short, but like, life not short enough to keep letting somebody play with you, period. Hmm. Y'all, if y'all seen what this house look like, y'all would just cuss me out, okay? Do I get a pregnancy pass? No, not really. We're gonna get it together, we're gonna get it together. Well, y'all already know what it is when that light off. What is about to happen? <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. And I feel, I, sometimes I'll be feeling bad for taking a nap, but like, I literally didn't go to sleep until four o'clock this morning. And then I woke up at 5.55. Oh my God, this hurts. His little movements are so strong. Hey son, you moving? Y'all, it hurts so bad right here. I don't know if this is maybe a side that he sit on or what. I see my vein going through my stomach, but like, Oh no. Well, I guess he's not gonna move no more. But, y'all, literally, y'all see my pillows, my pregnancy pillows? <sighs> Lifesavers, literally. I don't know what I would do without them. But, honestly, sometimes I be feeling bad for taking a nap, but I'm pregnant, one, and then two. Um, yeah, I be working all night, so I'm, I'm gonna take a nap now because I'm really tired. And on top of me being tired, oh, that I'm sad. First of all, my face look like it's getting fat. But aside from my face looking like it's getting fat, I'm like really sad. I can't believe my pregnancy is almost over. 
and I have so many mixed emotions because like sometimes I be wanting it to be over but like it's really finna come to an end I just be having a hard time of like adapting to changes and so with me having to adapt throughout this whole journey it has just been like it's just been like a big roller coaster and like I'm happy that it's like gonna come to an end and like I want him to be healthy I want him to be here I can't wait to hold him but then also I like just can't believe that he's gonna be here and that my pregnancy is already almost over it seems like I still remember my first day finding out I was pregnant I still remember my first appointment I still remember my first time hearing his heartbeat like <sighs> And now he's finna be here. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a fucking crybaby. So, like, I'm crying. But, like, these are happy tears. Because not you chose me to be your mommy. Uh, you want me to be your mom? God thought I did so good the first time. He decided to make me a mom again. <laughs> I'm an emotional wreck. I just remember, like with Tiana like being pregnant with Tiana like how I will always say that I couldn't wait until I have another after I had her I couldn't wait until I was able to do it again because I wanted to do it the right way like I wanted to do everything that I wasn't able to do with Tiana because I wasn't able to do a lot I wasn't able to like really embrace it or like take pictures or anything like that because like my family was like shame of me so this time like just being able to it not being completely what i wanted it to be but still being grown and like carrying a child and um it's just like a really beautiful thing it's a really beautiful thing i'm just grateful i'm just grateful that he is a healthy little boy in there and every time he kicks me Every single time he kicks me, I just, my heart just melts. I used to always say, I don't know how I ever have another child because I love my daughter so much and I do love her so much. Nobody can, nothing can ever compare to my first kid, you know what I'm saying? But like, I love this little boy already. And his sister loves him already and we're just ready for him tiana says she want him to come while she's on break so she can be there and she's going to when he's born she's going to write down his um day the time he was born the day he was born i still remember when my brother was born i didn't i wasn't able to go to like the hospital or anything i kind of stayed home i didn't get to see him until he came home but you know, I really want Tiana to be in the room. I don't think they're gonna allow it though. Um. So yeah. And then not to mention, I'm thinking about not having nobody in the delivery room with me. But I could just be having some emotions. Let me get my life together. my camera look like that like it's moving because is you moving let me tell y'all how i ain't getting nothing done okay because uh, i literally went to eat i went to eat and then that was it now i'm about to open this package he's big package so this is actually my package from hatch um they sent me a package and i want to see what it is so let's see what it is and excuse me because i look a mess but whatever let me cover my address because y'all know the ops be watching there's my box from hatch we're gonna see what we got so what did we get? So honestly, y'all, I'm when they wrote me to um, work with me, I was so excited because I had been wanting to order from them for like the longest. Because I, I, I watched McKenna Walker and I seen that she was like using their 
belly oil when she was pregnant. So, when they wrote me, I was so excited, like, yes, I will work with you. Oh, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Thumbnail. To be a -L -L. This is giving the robe that I asked for. Yes. Okay, so they they sent me they sent me a bunch of clothes. They sent me my the robe that Okay, let's do a try on haul. Period. We got to, it's only right, it's only right. I'm keeping out tissue paper, period. Okay, so I'm excited for a new robe because y'all literally, baby daddy said, you need a new robe for Christmas so you can stop wearing a grandma robe. I think at first of all, I like my grandma robe. Okay. I think I'm gonna like this one, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, so it's really soft. It's really soft and um, I'm humongous. Why am I so big? Oh, he is sitting like all the way down at the bottom. Come on, son. Come on. Am I gonna be able to, is this gonna look right when I'm not pregnant? Like, but it's soft and it's warm. It's giving me cozy. Yes. Give me my coffee. Boom. Boom. Booyah, booyah, booyah. I don't think y'all hear me when I say the quality on these pajamas is like 10 out of 10. Why do I look so good going to bed? And then black is slimming cause baby who? I look like my old self again and then I turn to the side and it's like booyah. It's a baby in there. I'm about to buy me some pajamas for my baby moon, so I'm so glad that I did it because these are so cute. I love these. I love these. Okay. I don't know if I can take a picture, but y'all, this quality, oh my god. This, do y'all hear me? This quality, this quality. This, they ain't hearing me. These pajamas come all the way down to the bottom. Like, they're definitely tall girl friendly. I'm a size 5'8". And these pajamas, I'm gonna tell y'all what size they are. I'll leave them all linked in the description box down below. But yes, love these. <sighs> Maternity tights. So, yes to these. They're really super comfortable. They are not see-through at all. So they're really good material. Oh my God, first of all, Hatch, y'all did something. Oh my gosh, and then I never understood why people wore maternity clothes, y'all. But like, when you're pregnant and like those clothes are like, even the stretchy clothes <laughs> are like right here on your stomach, it hurts so bad. So, Lots, lots and lots of belly support. 10 out of 10. What did you do, y'all? Okay, so as you guys know, I literally have a million of these. These, these little jumpsuits have been my favorite thing in this whole pregnancy journey. They're so easy, they're so convenient. They're like 10 out of 10. First thing I'm grabbing, okay, y'all. This has a built-in bra, lifting the girls. I love that, okay? I love that for me. And it's, I'm giving body. I'm giving, stop playing with me. Hatch, oh my God. Oh my God, y'all did what needed to be done. I cannot wait to wear this. I can't wait. And it's like, it's so fitting, it fits so good. It lifts the girls up, I don't have to wear no bra. It's like, so comfortable. Yes. Yes, 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 a million times. A million times, yes. 
Lani gang. Y'all seeing this? Is y'all seeing this? And the quality is top tier. I can literally say now, I can say, listen here, right? I am a girl who likes, I likes a good bar. I like a good bargain. I have not tapped into my side of spending a lot of money on a like on a on an item yet. That's just not. I think the most I've ever spent on an item was like 450, and that was for my dress for my birthday. And honestly, I wore it once. I'll never wear it again. I can't. The dress is still in dirty clothes. It's been in dirty clothes for like a year. Okay, so I haven't tapped into that side yet. But y'all, I'm thinking tapping into that side of just spending a little extra on quality pieces. I think that I'm, I think I'm gonna tap into it. I'm, I'm sold because from the robe to the PJs to even just this jumpsuit because I have two other jumpsuits that looks just like this. The quality, the bra, the quality, the, the it's, it's. It's snatching me, but I'm not feeling like, ugh, this hurts. Because when you're pregnant, com com being comfortable is the most important thing. She literally giving TLC, so I creep. And just keep it on the down low. That's what it's giving. I love this. So now I get to go to sleep looking cute. Yes, I love this. 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 I love this so much. Hurt me so bad right now. Oh. I may have moved him. All right. This is my last little video y'all before I go ahead and sit down because he oh he's doing a lot but anyways I like this oh and it got pockets I was gonna say only thing is I wish it had pockets but it does so yes I will leave all these links in my description box yes this looks so good we literally didn't even talk about much or do much in today's vlog but that's okay that's why I hate about having a dog, dog hair everywhere. And Tiana, my dad is talking about giving Tiana another dog. No, she getting a brother. We don't need another dog. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Y'all, I'm gonna end this vlog, even though we didn't really do much. I hate that for us. Maybe I'll just include it in all in one daily vlogmas vlog. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. But my camera's finna die, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. Bye, guys. <laughs>